him in a resource pod. If I get that, I'll finish that quest. So I'm going to actually interrupt this guy. I need a chance to. Oh, he chose to go there anyway on his own. So uh, resource pod searched, quest complete, updated. So if I click on there, after that, now I go to. Research pioneering is what they want me to do in order to get that. So, I'm trying to figure out what I actually got there for finding that one. But it's kind of a standstill there. Got another solar collector. So, just so they don't overlap here, launch that one there. Give me some more power. Okay, and okay, next. You can establish trade routes with stations to receive various supplies that your people may need. Stations are good for trade routes, much like they said. Pardon me, I may be able. And your explorers are good. They survived that battle. Your explorers can find artifact sites, which this looks like one right here. And you see how I'm hovering it over it? Well, over here in the upper right hand corner next to the map, it'll say what it is. So right now that's a ruin. So. I'm going to send my guy. To Your explanation has noticed something strange. And that's new to this playstyle as well. To this game specifically. Send it up there and make it really long. Choose to construct that. Virtues. So that's a whole other ball game. The book. But you can go with might. Which is strength, prosperity, which is growth, and expansion, knowledge, which is your science stuff, industry, which is going to be your productivity. I'm going to go with prosperity because I'm going down the health route with my science, so I might as well back it up with my virtues. And the first one is get 10% more food retained after a city grows. So, there we go. Get one point to turn there, and moving on. Hopefully, these aliens don't go up there and attack with more. Yeah, that's good. Asteroid just landed. That can be uh, what's trying to do is cue me in on the fact that I can go there and probably get some resources. So, I might send my Marines over there. This is an alien nest, so I'm going to send these guys up here to overtake that One nest. One of my units has walked into a cloud of strange It's telling me toxic plasma is not good for my Marines, which I had covered already. Alright, next I'm going to make a war group. We'll start making mines and roads and all that kind of stuff that I can actually use. Get my marines away from that plasma cloud. Excuse me, I have important in Your health is up here. You wanna maintain good health so your cities keep growing. All that good stuff. See how much longer this explorer is gonna take. Let's see. Expedition. Your explorer has discovered something wonderful. So by me exploring that site, he found something. Uh, that's actually my research, but what did he find? No clue. I want to take a look at that. I want to heal this guy before I have him do too much more. Heal my marines too. Okay. Choose a new science level. I'm going to stick with the health, but if I decided I wanted to go with food, for instance, right away, well, then now I can branch out to these food um, buffs. Another thing to notice too is your scientists will want whatever this uh, little blue pot is next to. Your economic uh, guy will want ecology next, and your military will want engineering next. But again, I'm going to go with what is good for the health of my city. So, hmm, let's see here. I might want to actually branch out somewhere different for now, but uh, let's go to no filter. 
and see what this alien life is. Well, I'll go with pioneering. Because that'll allow me to have trade convoys. So notice that there's two other uh, choices there. Let's see, choose affinity level that would free. This gives me buffs on Xeno mass and hit points. This gives me strength. And supremacy is going to give me. Let's see. Buffs on getting the frac site. So. I'll choose army. Let's try to be nice for this because I never am. <laughs> because you've earned anything. When I'm playing civilization. So. Can I make a quest decision? So I'll just read this out. So this is opening the clinic that I just opened. The populace has been split by ideological divide, securing and improving. Our new territory has put great strain. So I need to decide. Our fledging colony does not have the resources to do both. Which one do I want to invest in? So provide care for defense workers or for civil workers. Um, so I can get more hit points for the city or more health since I'm going to go all about health and being good to my people. We'll click that one. I can upgrade my Excuse soldiers me. now. I have important information so for you. I'll click on this perk and I can do an aggressive perk which is plus 15% when attacking or he can heal when not in part. So I'm going to go with the aggressive stance and confirm. And now my soldier changes into a marine. Um, if I want him to go into a brawler versus a sentinel versus discipline, that's where those, um, you know, purity, harmony, or harmony, purity, and supremacy come in to play. So, uh, let's see, 10 strength, and they just turn different things so, based on what you invest your virtues in. And my worker's done. I'm just going to set them on auto mode with this little wheel down here. For production. Since I've researched a few uh, items, now I can up the health of my people. So I'm going to focus again on those ones that have a little green bar next to them. i got a virtue point to spend, so new, I don't know what I want. Let's see, gain a free worker unit or plus 30% speed towards outpost growth. I think I'll go with the outpost growth. Let's see what my explorer's up to here. Still healing up. The upper left hand corner shows you what research undertaking as well as how many turns are left. I can see how much culture I'm earning right here. What my health is, so I was at 4 health, now I'm at 5, which is good. My energy level, my science level. And then later on the Xenomass, uh, Floatone, and the uh, Fire Axe site, which is alien resources. So let's see, choose a station. So Red Sun's going to provide me four energy. I'm going to get a trader established. Whereas this place will give me four science. So I'm going to go with the science because uh, that helps me minimize the turns it takes to research things. Station that was found there. So. Once my guys stop healing, they'll uh, allow me to move them too. Which I could move right now if I wanted to. So let's see, how do we remember? So, do I remember my old earth um, relics, don't touch them, or do I display them to the public? So, if you hover over things, it'll show you what you get out of them. I can get energy, or I can get culture. I'm gonna get culture. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make a fluffy lovey dovey. I care about my people environment, which I rarely ever do. I'm trying to turn a new leaf. I'll probably still end up going down the military road. 
so you can win this game um, culturally, militaristically, or uh, through other, you know, politically, economically. And we'll get more involved with that kind of stuff later on. But this, again, this is just the first intro video I wanted to make to get uh, people used to Civ Beyond Earth and show that uh, they've tossed a lot of good things in, a lot of things to keep track of. Personally, I like complexity. My farm lab next. Get my health going through the roof. So now I have a health of six there. I'm going to send him over to excavate this site. There's that resource pod. There it is. Got another virtue point to spend so I can get a worker. Plus 15% build speed for tile improvements. Keying a free colonist unit. I'm going to go with the tile speed. That'll help my workers make mines and stuff that much faster. So. The universe is either in progress or not. There we go. Alright, and there's something over here. Oh, what is this? The crash site. There's some of my marines over there. Let's set this guy up to. Uh, I'm not sure why I can't excavate right now. That's weird. Let's see. Planetary survey. Oh, it's going to allow my thing to cross over water, so I'm just going to take care of that one. Yeah, I'll work together with you for now. Oh, great. Other people are landing on my planet, taking my resources. How may the corporation serve you? Just what I want. Can't really do much when they first land. I went through every conversation piece with them several times over before, but I just can't do anything. Why am I not getting the opportunity to explore? to me, which is on the left side there, on the right side, he's just going to survive. Plus it says total defeat. So I'm going to get my explorer the hell out of dodge here. And I got another solar collector I can launch. Okay. Yeah, I'll put you up here. So I need a, a solar collector. And these don't uh, stay up forever either. So you see, I got 23 turns on him remaining. This is the first one I put up. I think I only have 21 in there. And here I got the full 40. So the satellites do crash, they deorbit. <coughs> So if you want to buy resource plots, all you do is you click on the city, zoom in, and you can figure out which ones you want to buy. Obviously, uh, well not obvious, but say the ones that have more resources available, or typically more expensive, but in this case, there's one here for 